Today I'm going to show you a feature of Windows that a lot of people don't even know exists. It's highly useful. I use it myself all the time and it helps really keep your work organized when you're working in Windows. So I'm going to show you what it is and how to use it. The feature we're talking about today is virtual desktops. Basically, you can take your windows and move them to different virtual desktops to organize your work. So I'm going to show you how this works. There's a bunch of different ways to do this. First uh, is using the task view button. I don't currently have the task view button enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and enable that in my taskbar settings. Here's task view. I'm going to turn that on. And that gives me the task view button here. So if I click on it, then you'll, or sorry, if I hover over it, you'll see the option to add a new desktop, okay? So I'm gonna do that. Now I have two desktops. I could even have three desktops. Uh, but let's stick with two for the sake of this demo, okay? So I'm gonna go back to desktop one. Now, let's say I have a Chrome window open here in desktop one where I'm just doing some personal browsing. I don't know, maybe I'm on msn.com. Um, this is kind of my, gonna be my personal desktop with my personal stuff, not my work stuff, okay? Then let's say I need to do some work, but I don't wanna mix up my work and my personal stuff. So I'm gonna go over to desktop number two. Over here, I'll launch Excel. Maybe I've got some work I've gotta do in Excel. I could also have some Word documents open. But here's the cool thing. This Excel window and this Word window, those only exist on my second desktop, desktop, desktop number two. If I go to desktop number one, I just have my Chrome browser here that I was looking at. Now, let's say I wanna move a window from one desktop to another. How do I do that? So if I click on task view rather than hovering over it, if I click, you're gonna see something that looks like this. So this shows me all of the windows that I have open in desktop one. So if I want to move this window to desktop two, all I have to do is grab it and drag it down to desktop two. Okay, now that Chrome window is no longer on desktop one, that Chrome window is on desktop two. Okay, and my Excel, my Word, those are still here. Let's say I want to move Excel to desktop one. Again, I could just click on task view. Here's my Excel window. I can drag that over to desktop one. So this is so useful for organizing different things you're working on. Maybe you're planning a trip and you've got all your trip planning windows on desktop one, or maybe you're just keeping your personal stuff and your work stuff separate. There's so many different uses for virtual desktops. Now there are some keyboard shortcuts that are useful. For example, Windows key tab opens up task view. That's just the same as clicking on the task view button, just using Windows, T, Windows key tab. Okay, Windows key control D adds a virtual desktop. So if I wanna add a new virtual desktop, I hold down Windows key control and I press D. And now I've created desktop three. All right, now these two are the most useful because when you've created some virtual desktops, you're gonna to wanna to switch back and forth between them quickly. It's slightly clunky to go hover over task view and then click on the one you want, right? What we can do is hold down Windows key control right arrow that goes over to desktop two, that goes over to desktop three. If I do left arrow, we go back desktop two, desktop one. So I can very quickly, using my keyboard, flip between these virtual desktops. And lastly, if I wanna close a virtual desktop using a keyboard shortcut, let's say we wanna close uh, desktop three, Windows key, control, and F4, we'll close that desktop. I hope you found that useful. I use virtual desktops all the time for keeping myself organized in the windows, and I hope you can get some use out of this as well. If you like this video, I sure appreciate it when you subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. All that good stuff helps the YouTube algorithm push this content out to more people who might enjoy it. Thank you.